And I can't do this if you're all gonna watch me. is he's staring at me hey lawn journey friends may 2nd time to uh get ready to battle the grubs gonna get it down early this year stick around <laughs> all right folks welcome back to lawn journeys good to have you back um I'm doing what everyone else is doing. It's time to put the grub X down. It's May 2nd. Um, this is the new formula. Uh, everyone's, you know, talked about it. Um, I'll put the uh, ingredients, I'll put the active ingredient um, below or I'll put it up here. Um, it has the one here. This is the new formulation that's not supposed to um, be killing the bees and you know uh, earthworms things like that it's more environmentally friendly and like i said before that's kind of one of the things i'm i'm into um so wherever whenever i can do something like that um when i did purchase this they had both on the shelf still um but i did take the new formulation so anyway the recommended application rate is 2.87 pounds per thousand square feet um I'm roughly about 8,700 square feet, so I need somewhere around 24 pounds. Um, this is a 28.7 pound bag, so I have plenty of uh, material here to do my app. I'm going to be, as always, it's a nice day, and we're probably about 72 degrees here in Jersey today. I'm expecting a little rain tomorrow, so this is uh, perfect timing. I'm going to get this application down, and then I'm also going to continue with my next biostimulants. I'm starting my second round since... Um, March when I started. Today I'll be doing air rate and RGS. I'm not going to go through that. All right, running through the zones again. First one's 3,800 square feet, 2.87 pounds per thousand. I'm looking at approximately 12 pounds on the ground. Um, I weighed it out. I'm going to throw it in here. Um, by the way, by the way, enjoying some uh, new swag with my Lawn Journey sticker. I'm having fun with everybody. Starting to do a couple trades. Okay, let's get this in the uh, in the hopper. Actually, it's ten and a half pounds. Um, my container is a pound and a half, so I, uh, instead of tearing it, I just measured it out to twelve. So, as you can see, this is some pretty uh, fine material. So, I'm going to have to set this on a uh, small aperture, small opening. Let's get out there and get spreading. Got the grub X down. That's taken care of. I'm doing my second round of the Biostim Pack RGS and Air 8 today. I'm gonna go out and finish in the front and then I have a little surprise. I wanna show you a nesting robin sitting on three beautiful blue eggs. Really nice. So let's get out there, get the front done. Hope you guys are getting your stuff done. Now we'll wrap this thing up in a couple of minutes. On journey friends today was a good day a little boring a little routine things you got to do in the lawn I got a big mess I got to clean up now let's check this out that's quite a mess let's take a look at this lawn just green it up it's green it up I hit it with carbon X two weeks ago last week we did the microgreen um, today, I did my grub X treatment. Good for this season, unless I see some grub damage later, then I'll hit it with something. Uh, did Carbon X two weeks ago with microgreen. Last weekend, started my second round of the BioStim Pack um, using Humic, Humic 12. Um, it's one week later, today's May 2nd. Um, hit it with the RGS ear rate combo. Um, we had a lot of rain earlier this week, and it's warm today, and I see the lawn. It's either greening up today from that Air 8 and RGS, or it's just, I think it's all the rain that we've had. Um, so it's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to sneak up back here in this arbor. Here, I have a nesting robin. 
So let's get back there and see if we can see him. He just flew out. Just flew out. As you can see here, there's a beautiful nest. And we have three beautiful robin's eggs on there. Check them out. It's beautiful. And mommy's not too happy with me. She's in this tree right here. I don't know if you can see her. There she goes. That's mommy robin. She's circling back. She's going to get back on those eggs. So anyway, things are coming along. Spending a lot of uh, time with root growth stimulant <laughs> and the air rate on my park strip. Last year, this park strip was gone. It was gone. It was dried out. It was nothing left but wasteland. So in the fall, tore it up, seeded it, peated it, came in pretty good. So like that's my goal this year, is to try to keep this park strip alive. Let's see if we can do it. If you guys have any tips, I'm also thinking about maybe hitting it with some hydrotain at some point. But we'll see what happens. My son and my wife who are on the porch, which I am not going to show on camera, are laughing at me because they think I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm absolutely lost my mind because I'm walking around out here with a camera. <laughs> That's what the world's come to. <laughs> I can be crazy if I want to be crazy. But they think I'm insane. They think I'm crazy. Ah, my corabels. Let's check these things out. They smell sweet. Sweet as honey. They're beautiful. Check those out. Hey, that's a lap around the house today. My dogwood's starting to come out. Wait till you guys see this baby. Doesn't look like much now. When this thing flowers, you're gonna be mesmerized. Hypnotized and mesmerized. I'm telling you. Oh, I also power washed my deck today. But I don't think power washing is that exciting, so. Been there, done that, watched that, right? This is more about my journey what's going on in the lawn. Um, so anyway, um, I did buy another 100 foot of this uh, Easy Flow hose. I like it. I think the pressure is a little, a little lacking. It's the uh, 5 eighths, and I wonder if I should have gotten a 3 quarter. Uh, however, it really shouldn't make any difference, but it's doable, and as you can see, look at that. It's all laid out there. And now I'm gonna coil up the 100 feet. So um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's coil this up. It's super light, and it's easy to pull around. It's worth it just for this. Take it nice and easy. Let's see if I can fit 200 on here. That's a hundred. It's gonna be, I think I can get it on. That's 200 feet of easy flow. Pretty impressive. There she is. 200 feet on the reel. Amazing. It's worth it. My wife is coming again. She's going to say I'm the same. So anyway, guys, get out there. Get it done. You have no excuses. Spend an hour out there every night. Make sure you get your apps down. Make sure you get your uh, fertilizers down. Do your preventives. And have a good season. I'll see you guys here next time. Um, ooh. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments. Also, I'm kind of curious if anyone has the Easy Flow hose, um, the three-quarter inch. I think it's called the Pro. I'm kind of curious if anyone has uh, noticed any difference in the, in the pressures with the hoses. Okay, that's it. Mel, get out there. Get it done.